So I asked my husband, Rob, to give us some painting tips um, from his point of view, being a complete non-painter because he refuses to paint for anything. Anything that has to do with furniture, he's not touching it. He will not, he'll repair furniture. He will not paint furniture. But anyway, I asked him to give us some tips. They're kind of funny. Hope you enjoy them. Tip number one, make sure the project that your wife picks is light enough and small enough for you to handle by yourself. And I always have to walk backwards, so the lighter the better. Yes, that is a good tip. Make sure that your husband is doing the walking backwards part. Important. Yeah. I started out with just one coat of Wise Owl Military Bronze. Tip two. Wait, pause it. <laughs> Tip two. Very important. If you can all manage not paint in the dining room, paint splatters are hard to clean up on the kitchen island. It's terrible. And guess who has to do it? <laughs> This guy. <laughs> it's not true. It's very not true. true. I don't. I might I have uh, blistered up fingers from scrubbing <laughs> off all the paint. It's ridiculous. I'm using vintage Tide Decor Funky Cold Patina on this. It's no longer available, so I'd suggest trying one of the other brands on the market. I'll put some brands I know of down in the description box. This is a three-part process, and I'll be using the iron, bronze, and copper patinas. I'm taking my brush, and I'll pounce in a coat of the iron patina in the corners where you'd see rust naturally occur. Don't use your dog as a paintbrush. That happened one time with him and it took like a week for the paint to wear off. That's not true. He didn't seem to mind it though. He did kind of look like a skunk for a while, so. Rob, that's not true. He uh, brushed up against the piece and got paint on himself and I washed him off right away. I got pictures. No, <laughs> I took a picture right away and then I washed him off. See this stuff that's on his face? That's not paint. That's paint. That's not paint. She uses his face for paint. That's not true. He's an old man. No, really, he's a puppy. It's not paint. He's a puppy. He's our good friend, Theo. Next, I'm going to add the bronze patina around the edges of some of the iron by pouncing it in with a paintbrush. Then I'll do the same with the copper patina on the outside edges of the bronze. By doing it this way, it will keep me straight on where I need to put the second coats of each. Once the first coat is dry, I will go over it all with a second coat of each of the patinas. When they're wet, the bronze patina and the copper patina look very similar. And I wasn't really particular about how I put this on because I wanted it to have a really fun, creative look. Hey, where do you want this at? Um, just right there is fine. Oh, <laughs> crap. It's okay to brush up furniture up against another piece of furniture because you're shabbying it up. That's not true. <laughs> it is true. Looks better already. While the second coat is still wet, I'll spray it with the green activator. It takes about 24 hours to turn to metal and dry completely. 
This is kind of what it looks like while it's drying. It will look a lot prettier when it's done. I'm going to blend in some Wise Owl Verdigris and Patina glazes. You can find all of the products I'm using on my website at elsielaneboutique.com and I will have links in the description box also. The lighter color glaze is the patina glaze and the darker green is the verdigris glaze. And by blending them together, it makes it look like there is actually more metal on the piece of furniture. If the glaze is a little hard to blend, just spray a little water on it. By blending the glaze up and down and back and forth with a blending brush, you will get a really good blended finish. But be patient with it because it does take a while. I'm adding a little military bronze here just to darken it up a little bit. It's okay to paint a little bit of the paint over the glaze if you need to, just to darken it up. The brush I'm using here for blending is a Paint Pixie Dusty Brush. I really like using it for blending. When doing this type of blending, you really have to be patient because it will look ugly for a long time before it starts to look pretty. But just hang in there and you will get it. It's a good day to I decided I wanted to darken it up a little bit more, so I mixed about three parts water with one part military bronze and did a light wash over the whole thing except for where the rust patina is. You can still see the glazes underneath the paint. It just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension and depth. For a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I... Finally, I will seal it with two coats of Wise Owl matte varnish and then we'll be done. You can go ahead and seal over the rust patina. It will protect it and it will not change the color. It's all right. What was I going to talk about? <laughs> you know, in all honesty, I love Debbie and I really am proud of her. And um, I can't wait till I can quit my job and Theo and me can go to her store and work all day long with her. It's a lot of fun. I love you, Debbie. <laughs> love you too, babe. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I think this project turned out really cool. It looks like a big rusty metal cabinet now. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to read them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.